Hi everyone and welcome back. So you must have already noticed in previous videos that the main objective of this tool is actually to ensure more reliable and consistent inventory data but especially compatibility with Unifield. As you are noticing, the monthly stock report integrates with Unifield by providing the possibility to correct the stock inventory in Unifield with the result of a physical stock count. In order to prepare a stock count of a stock location, which is managed by Unifield, first you need to align the list of products managed in this stock location. For this, you need to import an up-to-date export of the Unifield stock inventory into the MSR. The result of this import is that the stock item list of the stock location MSR will contain all products which are currently having stock inventory greater than zero in any field. This import functionality has two purposes. First, updating of the stock item list of a stock location and then updating of the Unifield stock inventory in the MSR database. And this should be done once you are preparing a physical stock count of a stock location in Unifield. Please ensure that all picking tickets and delivery orders with goods that were already delivered are processed before exporting the inventory level of Unifield. Also, check that all receptions or incoming shipments slash in with goods which were already integrated into the stocks are processed before exporting the inventory level of Unifield. And lastly, before importing, make sure that the MSR is configured with a matching stock location with the correct Unifield instance identifier and stock location. So, in order to generate the Unifield stock report, go to Warehouse then inventory management and then you'll see there the export inventory level and click on new. After this, a screen will open in any field where you can now select the stock location for which you are performing a physical stock count. Click on generate report which will take few seconds. You can now download the export of the inventory level after any field finished its job by clicking on the attachment in the right action menu. Save the file on your computer and now you are able to import this file into the MSR. Open the configuration menu from the start screen of the MSR. The file exported from Unifield has the file ending in XLS, therefore you have to change the file format filter which you can find next to the file name here in yellow. The MSR will now import the inventory of Unifield and save the details in this database. Note that users of the MSR will not be able to see quantities encoded in Unifield though. And there we go. The stock item list of the stock location is now up to date. So let's now go over to the stock inventory screen of the same period which shows all the products with inventory in Unifield. You will notice there two additional columns, discrepancy unifield and discrepancy value unifield. These columns will show the discrepancy between the counted stock and the theoretical stock in unifield after the user enters stock counts of the products. This will not only allow you to analyze discrepancies, but also to correct the inventory of the stock location in unifield to ensure synchronized data. In order to do so, first validate the stock inventory after having finalized the full stock count and done your analysis. Please note that a count of each of the products in the stock inventory needs to be entered. Otherwise, the tool considers that the product has zero quantity in stock. So now that you are ready to export, open the export menu of the MSR and click on Export Inventory Unifield. Then select the stock location for which you want to export the Unifield inventory. After this, save it on your computer. Now, log into Unifield and go to Warehouse. And in the Warehouse, you see Inventory Management, and there you can find the physical inventory. Click on New to create a new physical inventory, and then fill out the inventory reference and upload the file you saved in a previous step by clicking on Add Attachment. Then click on Import Lines. After double checking the import lines, you can validate and confirm the physical inventory and this will apply the corrections to any field. So there we go, that was it for the video of the integration of Unifield. 
If you have any questions, please do remember that there's a whole team behind you to support you. So please do contact your local in case of doubt.